In this problem, we just want to figure out where the break-even point is for this company who has just purchased $3,000 worth of new equipment and each package will cost $3 but is sold for $5.50. So we have two things we have to compare here. We'll compare the cost to produce products and the revenue and we should be able to write equations for both of these. Let's look first at the cost. So the first thing we see in this problem is that we spent $3,000 worth on new equipment. So this is a cost to the company. And then we'll go ahead and add this $3. But that's for every package, all right? So we can multiply it by the number of packages produced. And that will be the cost of the packages, right? So for costs, we have the $3,000. And then we're just adding this $3 for each package. So $3 times the number of packages will tell us the cost for those packages. The next thing we're going to want to look at here is revenue. So that's how much it's selling for. And we're not worried about taxes in this. Uh, you could include that, but uh, it doesn't say anything about the taxes. So we're not worried about that. All we know about revenue is that they're going to receive five dollars and fifty cents for every package that is sold so how are these related well in the problem we want to find the number of packages that must be sold for the company to break even so uh, when they break even that means that the costs are equal to the revenue so they'll be even they haven't lost any money but they haven't gained any money outside of the cost, right? So we just replace the cost and revenue with their respective equations. And then we just isolate the P's on one side of the equal sign. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and subtract 3P from both sides of the equal sign, right? So that's subtract. And this is what we get. Some of you may prefer to see that as 3.00. And I put this 0 here just so you can see that the 3P minus 3P cancels each other out. It eliminates, it becomes a zero pair, however you want to say that. And then finally, in this process, we're just going to divide both sides by the coefficient of P, which is 2.5. So we have 3,000 divided by 2.5. 2.5 divided by 2.5 is 1. Some people would say that cancels out. Just be careful with that. We just want to know that that's not 0, but perhaps we could call that a phantom 1 like this. And then we find that 3,000 divided by 2.5 is 1,200. So in actuality, so the P equals 1,200. And what does P represent back in our original problem? The break-even point then, P, is 1,200 packages, like this. So, this is our final answer here. Now, we could double-check this, right? So, we could go back to our two equations and see what is the cost for 1,200 packages. And if you did this problem, you'd see that the cost here... 1200 packages is going to be $6,600. On the other hand, the revenue is going to be five and a half, so $5.5 for 1200 packages, and this should equal 6600 as well. Let's find out. And sure enough, if you do this on a calculator, or uh, if you can do it in your head, or whatever method you want to use, you should find that this is also. $6,600. So we can see quickly right here that this $6,600 revenue is the same as the cost, $6,600, which means that we broke even. And that gives us, that just proves that uh, 1,200 packages is the right answer. It's a good way to check. It's a good thing to check. Make sure you check, especially on tests. Alright, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and good luck in your math.